Hey YouTubers, today we're doing a, uh, a partial, well a an extract with stepped grains, it's called California Dreamin', it's from your shout shop, it contains a William Warns American Lager, uh, includes the fail S23 Lager Yeast, Williams Warn Dry Malt Extract 1.36 kilos, the grains are 200 grams of medium crystal, 400 grams of melanoidin, and 200 grams of chocolate. The hops are 40 grams of Northern Brewer for bittering and 25 grams of Northern Bitter for flavor aroma. So here's the, uh, here's the little ticket on it. I'm just going to bring two liters of water to the boil in a large saucepan. Uh, when boiling, add bittering hops and boil for 20 minutes. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the light, uh, the uh, light dry malt extract to that water to give the hops something to bond to. So we'll be back shortly. And now that this is. Uh, very nearly at the boil. I'm going to add about a cup of um, light dry malt extract just to give the uh, hops something to uh, sort of work with. I've been told that it's uh, you are better off rather than boiling in straight water with nothing in it. Uh, you are better off to uh, boil and um, with a bit of dry malt extract so we'll give that a stir around until that dissolves I have, I've got my phone. Alright. That's all the lumps out of it. Put that back on the heat. And we'll bring that up to the boil. And by the way, I'm not drinking at the moment. I, uh, I'm on a weight loss quest and I was 115 kilos and now I'm 105 after a month I've lost 10 kilos and I hope to uh, lose another 10 so should be a slightly slimmer version of my former self see I am thinner I was like that I was like fucking that but it's working. Right, our hops are in. Now let me just think how we're going to do this. Oh, I'll just dump them in. And we'll time that for, how long does it say? Uh, 20 minutes. Uh, when boiling and bittering hops. And boil for 20 minutes. We've got our can, our pre-hopped liquid malt extract can American Lager by Williams Warren in the hot tub of, of water so that it can uh, liquefy, become much more liquid, more uh, usable so it's not uh, too tough. And I've got my uh, grains in a grain bag, they're all set to go. And the next thing on our list, uh, after 20 minutes, add two liters of cold water, bring temperature down between 65 and 75 Celsius. We can do that. We've got a thermometer. We'll just put those in there. And we'll gather our two liters of cold water. Be right back. Okay, it's uh, 
like a minute and a half away from two uh, from 20 minute boil with those hops and that little bit of uh, dry malt extract um, and now I need to add two liters of cold water and bring the temperature down to between 65 and 75 add flavor aroma hops and crush grain stir and cover for 30 minutes and uh, I've got my trusty temperature uh, probe here and I've got the bag of grains and I'm going to use this jacket to cover up the pot and I'll leave it closer to 75 than 65 so that it you know it'll even out sort of thing it'll it'll drop a few degrees because I'm not not uh, there's no heat source with it it'll just be you know turned off the flame out just resting and uh, we'll be back shortly okay so I'm gonna add the two liters of cold water and hopefully my temperature is somewhere around between 75 and 65 and 75 give that a wee stir to equalize everything Okay, let's see what we got. I need to bring that up a little bit actually. Yeah, so that's interesting. We'll, we'll bring that up to temperature a wee bit. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up to said temperature and we'll be back. Okay, so we've got the, the flavour aroma hop going in and we'll give that a stir up. Temperature we're at now. So we'll take that completely off the heat and put that on there. And we will move it to over here. Okay, so we've got it. We've got it sitting there. It's at 69 degrees, so that's pretty good. And we're just going to sort of loosely wrap it up with this jacket and time it for 30 minutes. Okay, so we're at the stage now where we strain 
the the uh, grains and hops. I might just take that, put the jug on again. Right. and uh, what have you with two litres of hot water okay next step uh, add light malt extract and stir to dissolve okay so we'll discard that That'll do it. And the reason I'm brewing this kit is because I tried it at my uh, local home brew store. He had some on tap. And it was delicious. It tasted like a, a chocolate mint biscuit. Okay, now open the old can. We're on the home stretch. Okay. Okay, so we're at 36. Thirty-five. going to do all right. 28 and we're at uh, 15 litres. So we've got another five to go to get down to 25. Should be good. See, 28. Like I say, if worse comes to worse, I'll just put it in the fermenting fridge and uh, put an airlock on it, let it cool down, and pitch my yeast when I'm at the good temperature. Now, where the hell is my mark? Uh, 
16, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. So we're all good to pitch uh, our yeasties. Let's have a look and see if we've had the 20 litre mark. Oh, we're slightly under. So we'll just put that tiny bit more in there. It'll push us over the edge. And uh, I thought I might just give you a quick look inside my keyser because uh, I tidied up all the hoses and things in there and uh, I got a, a four-way uh, manifold in there so let's take a look there's the uh, four-way manifold and I've got another keg I got an extra keg this one right here there's an extra keg and um, yeah so and this is my my little fridge magnet uh, whiteboard it's got keg number one uh, oh, 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 oh. keg number one number two number three number four number five fermenter one fermenter two so yeah So, that's about all I've got other than just to show you inside the uh, fermenting fridge. Um, we're currently at 21.2 uh, and we want to go down to 19. And there she sits, the California Dream. California Dreamin' is what it's called. So anyway, that's it for me.